let's uh, get into our main segment, our industry interviews. I think the most rewarding part is just seeing everyone develop their confidence in sensory. Sure. That's really fun, especially when we have people who have never really been in the brewing industry before. Yeah. We put our bartenders through uh, trainings um, through Blue Bench. They're a company that um, specifically likes to create like a safe, um, welcoming environment. So they go through like, hey, how do you step in if you see a, a customer who's being harassed? Care about people. Yeah. Um, honestly care about the customer. Be welcoming to everyone in every walk of life. That would be my advice. And, and you know, make customer service a priority in the industry. Well, at first, uh, um, I was like, being paperless is going to be easy. Yeah. And then I didn't really think about it at first. And then there's so many things that require paper, like napkins, toilet paper, business cards, all that. So you have to try to figure out alternatives. Uh, it's, it's a great interview. We had a ton of fun. You can dial in that Whirlpool temp, 70C, 75C, 80C, whatever you want on a given recipe. Um, you won't see that on a lot of brew houses these days. Um, also, our, we have a, like an automated hop doser. So there's no, you know, those hops are hitting the boil at the exact same time every time. I'm looking for comp complementing flavors. I'm looking for contrasting flavors. Sometimes I, I will make a dish that completely contrasts the beer entirely um, and hope that it works. Right. 90% of the time it does. I think the first time, and theoretically, there's still a bottle of this homebrew somewhere in our basement, oh you can see, just theoretically. <laughs> um, and I think it was about 90 or 91. Our estimate was it was between 12 and 13 percent. Okay. So that was really, really high back then. It was refreshing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so it was rich, it was roasty, it was full-bodied, but it was dry, it was not syrupy. And that was, I think, one of the early times when we were like, that is cool. <laughs> that's really good. That's really good. And that's where all that air is escaping out of this vessel. So what happens is when we pump it with water out of the steep tank, it'll collect. It comes through these pipes and it'll collect right here. Okay. So it takes about an hour to get all the material from out of the steep tank into the drum. Awesome. We'll put all the mash in and let it sit for about 45 minutes at a certain temperature. Afterwards, what's going to happen is all of the wort is going to filter down through the bottom, come in this pipe, it's going to come up through here into our grant, then down into the pump, and it will be recirculated back onto itself, which is called vorlapping. Um, yeah, we got, so this is, we got a mash mixer and kettle as the last vessel, so we can do mashing in, do like decoctions as well. Um, before we just had a kettle water ton, um, where we just do single infusions, but this allows us to hit those temperatures and those times with like spot on. Oh my goodness! This whiskey has won a few golds already out in the world, uh, which is unbelievably exciting to have our very first whiskey be recognized as some of the world's best single malt. Um, the grain pops there right. too. So you have to try to figure out alternatives to make this paperless claim. We've been somehow able to deliver on that promise and uh, it's good. Also, I don't want to deal with filing cabinets and yeah. stuff like that. Just what like do you mean? Things, so, yeah. <laughs> if someone's able to kind of walk into a space and see someone that they can relate to and resonate with, like they're immediately going to feel just more welcome. I do this because I want it's, to do it. Yeah. You know, there are other things I could be doing. It's that perfect combination of, for me, like the anatomy and the science that I grew up loving sure. and am interested in, and then this beer science. And it truly is the only way for us to mimic or to learn what it's going to be like for a customer to drink a beer. There's something about brewing on a piece of history. Absolutely. It's, it's not, that's not, that's not, not part of the equation. I know I walked away a bit lighter on my heels. And uh, because of the beers we drink. Exactly. 